Hey everyone and welcome back to another video on the Nancy Drew Times. I am so excited to say, and I am pinching myself as I say it, but this video is brought to you by Her Interactive. I'm so excited to be partnering with them to tell you guys a little bit more about their puzzle bundle that they have going on this weekend. It ends on Monday, January 31st, and for only $50 you can get five amazing games that have really awesome puzzles. Um, this would be great for a friend that's never played Nancy Drew games before, uh, something that you could immerse another person into if you've already played these games. But it's a really awesome steal. Uh, $50 means that you're going to get these games for about $10 each. Uh, this is a package deal that's actually valued at $80. So it's a big, huge savings and really awesome steal. So if you can, be sure to go to Her Interactive's website and check out this bundle. Um, it also comes with the free strategy guides with the purchase of the bundle, as well as all the downloadable content that the website offers for free anyways. So it's a really awesome deal that they have going on and you want to catch it before um, Monday comes. So one quick thing that I do want to say before we get this video started is I will be giving away one bundle for free to someone that comments below what is their favorite puzzle from the Nancy Drew universe? I would personally love to read your comments on what some of your favorite puzzles are from um, games 1 through 33. So let me know below and I'm going to be choosing a winner to receive the bundle for free in 24 hours. So actually tomorrow, Sunday night, before the sale ends. So uh, yeah, let me know below. I'd love to know. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching uh, my videos. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And hey, let's go ahead and get started so I can tell you guys and show you guys some of the cool Nancy Drew things that I saw at antique stores and some of just the cool antiques that I saw in general. All right, let's go. So instantly stepping into this antique store, I already felt like I was in a Nancy Drew game. It really reminded me, a lot of these stores reminded me of Alexi's shop in Alibi and Ashes. You know, there's just so many knickknacks everywhere and I was constantly watching myself trying to make sure I didn't break anything. There were so many things everywhere and it was the coolest thing ever. These antique shops, man, they have so many things. Uh, dated even a hundred years old. I mean just so much cool treasures that you can buy in these antique stores. Um, a lot of knickknacks and objects reminded me of certain games. So this video kind of, I'll show you a little bit of the Nancy Drew stuff I found. It wasn't a lot. I did find a lot of just mostly Nancy Drew books um, dated in different eras. Um, but there were a couple of cool items that I really truly reminded me of certain games that I thought it would be really fun to share. So um, right here was a really interesting uh, area because I found this really old radio and I thought it was the coolest thing ever. It reminded me a lot of Secret of the Old Clock and of course reminded me of just the era in general um, being of its age, but also just because it reminded me of Josiah Crowley and maybe some of the cool things that we would find in his home and I loved all the little knobs and especially that intricate detail around the clock. I thought that was really cool. It's a clock radio combo and I just really loved it. I was really excited about this random uh, thing of silverware. Like it was just the best thing ever to me and I found the coolest silverware you guys like i know that sounds so weird but spoons and forks and knives that looked like they were from the victorian era they were so ancient looking and i picked them up because it reminded me of that puzzle in uh warnings at waverly academy where you have to correctly uh put the silverware in order um and i just i just had to video it i thought it was the coolest thing ever now here is where i found the first nancy drew items it was actually a collection of books um there, they these first few were actually really newer. It had like the hardcover, you know, shiny uh, laminated surface that I remember reading as a kid. Some of these, just a few of these Nancy Drew books, but this is kind of the version that I remember reading uh, was this like yellow blue back kind of cover. Uh, that's what was actually at our school library when I first picked up a Nancy Drew book and I didn't know what it was, but it was really neat to see like the bungalow mystery, uh, the mystery at Lilac Inn, and also the hidden staircase. That's kind of the first few Nancy Drew books that came out. So it was cool to see that. That was a really neat find. Um, but this one, the clue of the dancing puppet, uh, this one's actually, it was a older book. I could tell it wasn't, um, 
like the ones, those three that I had just talked talked about and showed in the video. Um, this one was definitely older. It felt uh, just more deteriorated, I guess, and it had that really old antique smell. Like, you know that smell that I'm talking about that all antique stores uh, smell like? And I love when I opened it up, oh my goodness, and I saw those drawings. I loved that so much. It even had like the name written, like really fancy old nice cursive of the person that owned it. And just to kind of hold someone else's, you know, cherished and beloved book, that was pretty cool. Um, I've actually never read this Nancy Drew book before. I don't know if this is a, a one that's, you know, particularly popular. I'd have to uh, ask some of my friends on that I've met some of you guys that collect these Nancy Drew things. I really don't know. Um, I haven't read this book. Oh, and I really loved when I opened it up seeing the, the, the pictures on the inside cover. Oh man, that was like, like cherry on top. Like it's just so cool to see all of that. But um, yeah, I thought it was a really, really neat find. And let me know if you've read this book, if it's a book maybe that you collect and that you own. I would love to know. Now these books were uh, some Hardy Boys books that I found. Um, they obviously, they also had uh, some more of the Nancy Drew books in the blue and yellow cover. Um, they had the classic blue books uh, for the Hardy Boys, but they also had some even older versions. And so I took on off the shelf, The House on the Cliff. Um, very similar to the same, I think, year and era that the previous Nancy Drew book that I just showed was from. You can kind of tell because the covers are very similar, um, but because it had the same drawings and even had a little note to uh, the person that had previously owned it. So I thought that was also a really neat find. I loved it, you know, just kind of being able to explore the inside of the book and just hold on to it. And uh, yeah, I mean, it was just a really cool find. You don't really normally get to see those just every day. Ooh, and I'm really excited about this one. So I saw a rack of travel postcards and I thought it was the neatest thing because it actually reminded me of the Phantom of Venice when Nancy's kind of snooping around um, Helena, Helena's uh, belongings and she finds a couple of her postcards and uh, I just thought that was really neat find, you know, to kind of be able to see all the postcards. So I wanted to include that in the video as well. Oh, and I also found this really cool key and kind of reminded me of of what maybe like you would find, what Nancy would maybe stumble upon and find like some kind of old key, which I thought was pretty cool. So I wanted to include it in the video. Okay, I know this is super random, but I'm from the South and so these bowls mean so much, but I have to tell you guys about this, okay? I don't know if you guys know about these bowls, but if it was cooked and it's in one of these bowls, you know it's gonna be good. That's like what my grandma uses. So um, I just wanted to share that in case you're not from the South. I also saw this coin purse, which really, it kind of reminded me of the game when Nancy has like a little pouch for money and just wanted to show you guys. I thought it was pretty neat. Oh, and this trunk. I thought this trunk was so cool. I could totally see this being in a game and it's got hidden compartments inside of it. It was just a really cool trunk that had shelves when you like stood it on its side like that. And I just thought it was super neat. It was very old, but it was the coolest thing ever. I've never seen a trunk that could do that. So... And right here, I'm just kind of showing you guys a little bit of the other knickknacks they had on the shelves. It was really neat. Right here, I stumbled upon this really neat chandelier and it kind of give, gave me like some, um, of the pub vibes that we see in uh, The Haunting of Castle Malloy. Uh, I just kind of see that chandelier hanging maybe in the pub. So here's the next location that we stopped at. Y'all, it was the coolest little antique shop. It was mostly of uh, books. And so that was kind of what I was also hunting for was for some books. And I was looking through and they had this like cool little mystery section of books. And lo and behold, I came across these really old Nancy Drew books. I mean, we're talking classic on classic Nancy Drew. Um, the Mystery at the Lilac Inn. It's the tweed cover Nancy Drew book. I kind of got to open it up and I was just, I didn't even want to touch it, but like, I mean, oh my goodness. The year on the inside of the book had, I think it was 19, like, 30-ish something so it was a really really old book but 
it was really neat to kind of just flip through and see the changes of all the eras of Nancy Drew books. I mean, like, there are just so many different changes, but I loved the, like, the classic shadow of Nancy on the cover. It's kind of the inspiration I took for uh, when I created my logo for my page and for my YouTube was that same silhouette. So I thought that was pretty cool that I got to see that. And there was also some really um, classic Hardy Boys books as well. I hadn't seen the ones that looked um, quite like this book cover. And I also found the traditional blue ones as well. Um, and I thought that was pretty neat. So I wanted to show you guys um, those as well. I also found, uh, I believe, what is the same era as those Hardy Boy books, uh, Nancy Drew books. And I had never seen them quite in this uh, style either. Um, this is actually the book I pulled out, The Clue of the Black Keys, is actually um, the book that everyone thinks that maybe game number 34 may be about. Um, so I thought that was so ironic that I pulled that book out and found that book. Um, and I felt like I really had to show you guys because I was like, oh my goodness, is this a sign? This is a sign. Everyone cross your fingers and your toes. We're getting game number 34. <laughs> And then they had this really awesome upstairs and I was so surprised that they had it upstairs and they had all these really cool records and I pulled out the records just because it reminded me of the time where Nancy's in Secret of the Old Clock and she finds Crowley, the Crowley Creepy's Corner uh, record and um, just seeing all the records reminded me of that and Emily's room and you know cranking the uh, record player and playing it I just thought that was really neat. But yeah, that was the really cool um, bookstore antique shop that we got to stop at. They had some really cool stuff inside as well. Um, not as much as the first one, but still some really cool stuff. Some really old stuff as well. So it was it was a very neat find. Very neat find. Oh, and then we got hungry. <laughs> so we stopped at this new bakery that just opened up in the same area. It's called Sweet Loves. And it was really neat inside. They had some really cool, um, cool vibes for a coffee shop, bakery, it was really cool. Um, and we tried their tea cookies and they were really good. Um, and because they were about to close soon, um, they gave us like six extra cookies, which I was so appreciative of because I knew I was gonna eat them all. <laughs> so I shout out to the bakery. Thank you so much for giving us some extra cookies. That was really kind of you. The next antique shop was the biggest, I think, out of all of the ones that we had visited that day. Um, it was so big and they had so many um, just trinkets and objects everywhere. They had a lot of more variety as well. So I wanted to show you guys some of these objects. The first one that I saw was this like really old brush and mirror. And I thought that was really cool and antique. And I wanted to show you guys because it kind of honestly reminded me of surprisingly Professor Hotchkiss. I don't know why. Um, it just seems like something that maybe she would like use or have because it reminds her of Marie Antoinette. So um, I took a video of it because that was really cool. If you see my hand go forward and then I go back, it's because I realized there was a sign there that said, please do not touch without assistance. <laughs> so I backed off really quickly. I was like, oh wait, don't want to do that. It's against the rules. Oh y'all, I knew you guys would be so excited about this, but I found a whole thing of arrowheads and instantly was reminded of the shadow ranch like collecting these arrowheads out in like the middle of the desert oh my goodness i was so excited when i saw those so right here i'm just kind of walking through there's a lot of cool chandeliers hanging and just like i said lots of objects but i wanted to take you guys and show you this section because it was so cool they had so many like clocks and old microphones and cameras and it was a cool area just in general because all the clocks were like dinging and like ticking at the same time and it was kind of like really relaxing um, but look at these really old cameras oh my goodness they were so cool and the clocks too I'm, I'm, I got major secret of the old clock vibes everywhere I went um, I wanted to open it up and see if it had a mirror in it to be honest with you um, these really cool urns these clocks I mean just so grand and antique it was really cool so right here, this was actually the only thing I could find, and it was actually just some more Hardy Boys books. Um, they didn't have any Nancy Drew books. I looked and I couldn't find anything, or really any Nancy Drew related like like material or items. So it was surprising that this store, even though it was the biggest and had the most variety, actually didn't have the Nancy Drew stuff, which I thought was pretty shocking. 
Oh, you guys, this was a really cool find. I could not help but record it because, of course, a typewriter. I, again, got Secret of the Old Clock vibes. Oh, it, it was this one, actually, this, this typewriter right here. And even some of the little, like, keys were jammed, and I could not help but think of Josiah Crowley giving this typewriter to um, Jim Archer, the banker. I thought it was so neat and so cool. So... Oh, and so right here, y'all gonna think I'm funny for recording this, but for real, this chandelier that was on the floor legitimately reminded me of Message in a Haunted Mansion when you let the chandelier down on, 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 this, on the culprit. Like, I thought that was hilarious. I, I literally, I, it was like me and like, I don't think anyone was in that section of the uh, particular antique store except for one other like random person and I laughed out loud and I probably, they probably thought I was like really weird, but I was laughing because that chandelier, it literally looks just like the chandelier that you use in the end of the game. So I had to record it. So we went to one last antique shop and this one was a little bit um, different because it was more like I think an old grocery store that had turned into an antique store now and um, it was just it was a lot different from the other antique stores we found and they also I didn't find any Nancy Drew stuff there as well um, but there was this one suitcase that really reminded me of the um, suitcase that Nancy brings in like the mysteries from like game like the first few games and like I don't know, Treasure in the Royal Tower, and, uh, Message in a Haunted Mansion, uh, Danger on Deception Island, like, this is the suitcase. It's a big, giant, floral suitcase, and I was like, that's Nancy's suitcase. If it was, like, in a darker, maybe darker color, maybe that would look just like it, but it really reminded me of it. Oh, and you guys, there was this big, giant copier machine. It was for free! I couldn't believe it! Uh, for free and what game do you think I was thinking of oh my goodness danger by design when you're trying to figure out the ink plot and you're trying to get that oh my goodness it literally looks just like it and I'm terrible about wanting to buy uh, just random stuff and collect it so I was like oh my goodness it's a free printer um, but I mean like not like that was gonna fit in my car or anything I don't know what I was thinking but I mean, like, look, it was for free. No holds. All right, well, that is it, detectives. Thank you so much for watching this video. It was so relaxing to go to these antique stores and kind of just snoop around all their antiques and see if I could find any cool Nancy Drew things. We didn't find a lot, but we did find some really cool finds. And hopefully we can do another part two to this video um, because there's a lot of antique stores in surrounding cities that I would really like to go to as well. Kind of make a little weekend trip out of it. But also too, there was a really awesome antique shop that was nearby the antique stores that we went to today. And it was three times bigger than the biggest one that we went to today. And they were closed because they were reordering their store. But I know that that antique store has like a lot of vintage clothes from different decades. And it is the biggest store ever so hopefully we'll get to do a part two to this um it was really fun thank you guys so much for all the recommendations for videos um if you have any more let me know below in the comments and also don't forget to comment your favorite puzzle from the nancy drew games because i would love to give away a free bundle to one of you guys so thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you again sometime soon